Grocery prices have gone up 22% since 2020. Isn't that wild? That's why the data says that people are using a different kind of shopping strategy now. Our Marissa Sulik explains. When Adam Carlson goes grocery shopping for his family, they have their own method. Uh, we mix it up a little bit, so we do uh, Whole Foods delivery for the most part, but then any kind of day-to-day -day needs during the week, we'll uh, either come to Kroger or Publix down the street. They are one of the families who treasure hunt grocery shop. Instead of buying all items at one store, families are traveling to a number of retailers to get the best deals. Uh, again, it's more for convenience and um, timing for our parts. <laughs> Data firm Numerator says between March 2023 in February of 2024, the average shopper went to about 20 different stores. That's up from 16 stores or 25% in 2019 to 2020. People can go to a variety of stores because they can look up the deals before they go. Instead of depending on a newspaper coupon ad, they can look up all the deals on a smartphone before they head out. I try like to, to, to be under 200 for grocery. But it's hard to. Jacqueline El Masseri shops for her family of six going on seven. She says she gets the best deals at Kroger. But I prefer backup. I mean, I make it online and do backup. Experts also say shoppers go to their selected stores frequently throughout the week to stock up and save money. They're also buying more store brands. Paper towels, toilet paper, stuff like this from Walmart. But grocery from Kroger or Publix. Other ways people can save is make a meal plan for the week, buy frozen produce and veggies, and go to cheaper zip codes to shop. In Nashville, Marissa Sulek, WSMV4.